Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm here to review the Blood Lust palette from Jeffree Star and I'm going to create a very easy fast makeup look, look and just see how this is going to perform on my eyes and how easy it is to use and how beginner friendly it is. So if you're interested to hear my thoughts about this palette and see what makeup look I'm going to create then please keep on watching. Okay, about the packaging, it's the most beautiful packaging I've ever seen. And I always, always love Jeffree Star's packaging. I mean, he's the best to create a package. He's the best when it comes to packaging. Now, this is, you've seen this everywhere. It's a very nice feeling to it, very soft. It's going to get dirty. It's going to be looking a little bit messy but i don't mind i think this is beautiful it le looks very expensive feels expensive and heavy not travel friendly though it has a nice big mirror and it has all of the shades here i don't know if you can see you've seen this everywhere i didn't touch it i didn't do anything with it i'm going to play with it today I'm going to play with it today. I mean, you've seen swatches and you've seen uh, reviews probably with this palette. Today I just want to play with it, create a purple look and just see how I feel. I love Jeffree Star palette. I have the red the blood palette. I have the blue blood palette. I have conspiracy palette that I still haven't reviewed on my channel. I'm so sorry, guys. I'll be using it. I just didn't have time to review it. And I have uh, this palette now. This got a little bit messy because I got this dark shade up here. So it is. this is also like texture, material. It's not the usual palette. So it's going to be dirty and look very look used, but I don't mind. I'm not here to show my palettes to the people or have them open like that. I'm he I love using palettes and I don't know. I don't care how messy they get. The point is to use it on the eyes and not, I know, showing it around. So I'm going to create a nice soft pink purple look. Now people are talking about how that there are not many pink purple shades in here. I have to say that I don't agree. If it had more purple sh shades in here, I, I feel like it's going to be a little bit too much and you're not going to be able to create different makeup, look, look, makeup looks. Now some pops of color like red and this I know, green blue shade it's beautiful, it's necessary, it's something that brings something different to the palette. So I feel like it's enough purple shades, right purple shades there was. Immediately when I saw this palette, I was feeling like, yes, that's right. Uh, I know people want, uh, expected like darker purples, but how many darker purples do you really need? And how are you going to create different makeup looks? I don't know, I just feel like this is these shades are making, uh, give, give me more... Uh, choices and different makeup looks inspires me a little bit more. So I'm very happy about all of them. I mean, you have a dark purple and you have like black with glitter that disappears when you blend it, but you have a nice black there that you can also deep up the uh, corners or make it a little bit darker if you want to. So I like how it looks. I like the shades. I'm not complaining about it. It's not travel friendly. I knew that and we all knew that when it comes to Jeffree Star's palette. So they're not always easy to travel with. But let's continue. I feel like I'll be talking a lot and let's just start. I'm going to use the uh, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill fluffy palette. This is number 30 and I really, really want to go in with this shade div divined, divined, this shade here, this one, in the crease. Ooh, a little bit powdery, but that's pigmented. Immediately shows on the lid. I love Jeffree Star's uh, formula. Think it looks stunning. Now, guys, I have to say, I do have a lot of breakouts here. Here, 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 a lot of breakouts. I don't know why I've been stressed these days. Maybe that's what shows. And I do have the, what it's called, Charlotte Timberley. Charlotte Timberley foundation on. And it's a little bit lighter than I normally go for. But I finished the other, other foundations I have. And 
didn't have time to shop and buy another one. So I'm going to use another blending brush. This is Ofra 21. And I want to go in this vivid mood that I know people are saying uh, it's light here, but it gets darker on the eyes. And that's what I want to use. Yes, definitely dips up, dips up um, the crease. I can't talk today. I really, really like the colors in this palette. And I am going to use it a little bit more. This is my first impression and my first video where I use this palette. And I feel like I want to tell you what I think. These shades are blending very nice. If you're beginner friendly, I just want to give you my thoughts, what I think about it. So. This feels like it is beginner friendly. I love, I really like his uh, formula and I, so far it's exactly what I expected. I'm going back with that brush that we had before without any product and just blending the edges a little bit. I want to go in in Blood Queen, it looks so beautiful. This is not really easy to hold. I have to say it's a little bit heavy palette. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to do like a everyday makeup look with this palette, like I always do. This is my sig signature, um, signature makeup look. Not the colors, but the place where I apply the eyeshadows. It's what I normally do every day, but using a different colors. This is a stunning shade it's blending very nice too so far everything is blending very very nice let's use a smaller brush because i want to deep up the corners and i am going to go in in uh, dungeon this darkest purple here and apply it on the edge on the corner And I feel like we don't need darker purples here. If you combine these couple of shades, you can create different purple. I mean, if it had more purples, I think, I feel like these palettes would be boring. And uh, you're not going to use it often because you can't create different makeup looks. Just purples. And I think that's not what Jeffrey was going for. Now, I am going to use my finger and use Take the Crown, this beautiful bright purple. And I love his shimmers. Oh, this is stunning. I love this. I love this. So I want to try to apply this bright shade with a brush. I'm going to use this Linda Halber brush and go to the Take the crown and just wet it a little bit. See if we get more intense. Oh, that's stunning. That is stunning. So, look, that was easy. To create this makeup look didn't, to, didn't take long time. And it was easy to blend, no problems at all. I like this palette so far. I'm going in with this brush again and going back to this vivid mood just to, no, is it Blood Queen, Blood Queen. And just try to blend everything here. I feel like this makeup look is stunning. I'm going to go in Your Majesty, the white shade we have here. I love that he has this white in here. And just pop that. I know some people don't like these bright shades in the palette, but it's for me it's necessary. And I'm going to pull, pop it here. Yes, and it has like purple undertone to it, so it looks nice. I'm going to continue with this brush, and I'm no I'm going to take another brush. I'm going to take this brush and go with Blood Queen again and pop it on the low lash line
everything is blending very nice. So I'm going to take the fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with the divided divide the one that we had in the crease first divine I don't know I can't pronounce all of the words names sorry guys for that I'm just blending the edges here so everything looks smooth I do want to go in and try the bright wet jewel jewel this shade here in the corners pop it and just see how it's looking we we'll take it with a brush no it doesn't want to it doesn't want to stay let's go into beauty sleep the one next to it that is nice so guys what do i think about this palette I think it's stunning. I think the package is beautiful. Yes, it's bulky. Yes, it won't fit it in the drawers and it's going to be hard to storage it, but it's beautiful. And I really like the shades in here. I really like how easy they are to blend, to work with. They're very beginner friendly. Now I do don't have eyelashes on because I'm going out now and I don't usually wear eyelashes when I'm grocery shopping so that is why i don't have any eyelashes today but you can definitely apply a liner or lashes now i do have um liner in my waterline this is from May milani stay put waterproof eyeliner in fixed on plum purple shade that i got from a friend valerie in our box swap a um, couple of months ago but i really like this palette and i think it's beautiful and i'm very happy that i got it because I love purple eyeshadows and I think they're stunning. So I'm happy with what I have. Uh, I'm happy with the palette. And guys, I'm going to create more makeup, look, makeup looks using this palette. So if you want to see, give it, that, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.